Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to learn all about density. First, what is density? The definition is mass per unit volume or how much matter is packed into a certain amount of space. Density is calculated by dividing the mass of an object by its volume. Mass measures the amount of matter in an object. To find mass, we put the object on a balance and record the mass in grams. In order to find volume, first, what volume is, it measures how much space the matter occupies. In order to find it, we can take length times width times height, and that would give us cubic centimeters. That would be a standard object, like a square or rectangle. For irregular objects, like a marble or a rock, we would find the volume by the displacement method. Here is an example of the displacement method. First step would be to fill the graduated cylinder to a measurable amount of water. We are going to use 30 milliliters. Then we place the object in the cylinder, so here's our rock inside the cylinder. And we redo the volume with the rock and water, and it's 40 milliliters. We're then going to subtract the first water level from the new water level. So our new water level is 40 milliliters minus our 30 milliliters. And we're going to get a volume for the rock of 10 milliliters. The standard units of measure for density in solids, it's grams per centimeter cubed. In liquids and gases, it is grams per milliliter. Here is the formula for density. We have density equals mass divided by volume. Oftentimes, it's ju just written as D equals M over V. Moving on to our first example, we have a cup of gold-colored metal beads was measured to have a mass of 425 grams. By water displacement, the volume of the beads was calculated to be 48.0 milliliters. Given the following densities, sorry, Given the following densities, identify the metal. So we have density equals mass over volume. Our mass is 425 grams. Our volume given is 48.0 milliliters. If we take 425 and divide it by 48.0, you're going to get 8.85 grams per milliliter. In order to finish our problem, we have to identify the metal. Which of these three metals has the closest density to our answer? If you said copper, you are correct. So our answer would be both of those. This is the density and that is the type of metal it is. For example number two, we have a marble with a mass of six grams is dropped into a graduated cylinder with 30 milliliters of water. The water level rises to 32. What is the marble's density? So this is using that displacement that we talked about earlier. Sorry. And we have density equals mass divided by volume. The mass that we're given in this example is 6 grams. For our volume, we need the new volume minus the old volume. So we have 32 milliliters minus 30 milliliters. That gives us 6 grams over 2 milliliters. And our answer is 3 grams per 
milliliter. Example number three. If the density of a substance is 1.6 grams per centimeter, what is the volume of a 23 gram sample? So this time, sorry, we're using density equals mass divided by volume, but we are looking for volume. So we have the density, which is 1.6 grams per centimeter cubed and that equals 23 grams over V. We are looking for V this time. So we take and we're going to multiply by V. And then divide by 1.6. So this gives us V equals 4.5. Centimeters cubed. These are going to cancel out. Okay. Next, we have one where we're finding mass. So we have the same thing density equals mass divided by volume. Our density is 2.7 grams per centimeter cubed. Our mass is questionable and we have to find volume from your paper. So volume is going to be 20 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 5 centimeters, okay? So that's 2.7 grams per centimeter cubed equals M over 1,000 centimeters cubed. We're going to multiply by 1,000 centimeters cubed on both sides and get 2,700 grams equals the mass of the object. Finally, we're going to find density from a graph. So we're going to calculate the density of the gasoline using the slope formula. So remember, slope formula is y2, sorry, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right? So we're going to pick two points. Let's try this one. And this one. So we have y2 600 minus y1. We're going with about 230 over, remember these are in grams, divided by our volume, which is 800 centimeters cubed minus 300 centimeters cubed. So put that in our calculator. 600 minus 230 equals 370 
divided by 800 minus 300 is 500 centimeters cubed. So we're going to take our 370 and divide it by 500. And the mass, I'm sorry, the density is then going to be 0 0.74 grams per centimeter cubed.